We have another new guest today. For the second time. <laughs> Are you and it's ready? more like the eighth time, but well, whatever. Whatever. We have a we have a sick guest today. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! It's everything's going wrong day. Yeah. So since I haven't heard it before, what's going on in this game? We are in a giant arcade that is shaped like an arcade cabinet, and now we are currently inside a video game. Start. Oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome to this game. Welcome to this game. Yes. And the goal here is to kill the blue guy. If you kill the blue guy, then the thing immediately ends, but I was trying to draw out time so that way I wouldn't get that great of a score. Keep going. So... I dick around with the yellow dudes a little bit. And that's a really bad idea here because the... Uh, all this retro nonsense is bugging me hardcore. At least you'll never have to wear parachute pants, Nick. Even if they come back in style. Done and done. I got the power! Zombies are forking all over the place. <laughs> oh, God. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I, I think the best anything. description of that I have ever heard was somebody just described it as her tongue lolling about like an inbred dog. <laughs> you just cut that guy in half, starting with the dick. That's yep. not... That happens a lot. It doesn't get any more uncomfortable or less uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, it can't really get more uncomfortable, because, like, really? What's more uncomfortable than that, aside from Miley Cyrus? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is more uncomfortable than Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is a little girl trying to be a big girl. She's trying desperately to not be... Oh god, what, whatever the fuck that teenage show she had was. Annie Montana? Is the cutscene over? Thank you for yeah, jumping the cutscene's right over. Oh, what? <laughs> now we have colors. Oh, and by the way, Pac-Man Fever's playing. I can't even hear it. Nope, neither can I. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> I'm sure it would be great if we could hear it. Yeah, it would be pretty great if you could hear anything. See, that's kind of like a twerk attack. <laughs> you just jump ass first. Thing. And, and the funny thing is, it's a really powerful attack, too. It doesn't do any damage, but it makes a zombie instantly groggy, and if a zombie's groggy, then they die in one hit. Good to know. Yeah. Now jump ass first at the problem seems to be a pretty good description of the game. <laughs> seems to be a pretty good description of Miley Cyrus's career. <laughs> I uh, think. We should probably introduce our guest. Hi, I'm hi, I'm Oozworm. Uh, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. We got off on a little bit of a tangent there. A little bit of a tangent. <laughs> Just a little one. Oh yeah, that's right. Nerd zombies also throw Molotov cocktails because nerd, all nerds know how to make Molotov cocktails. I'm sure they do. Stick a rag down half an empty bottle of tequila or something. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Pretty much. The robot. Pretty sure that's not how it works. Roombox has a problem. It seems to be shorting out. I want to get that looked at. That's a potential hazard right there. <laughs> That's just what dubstep looks like in real time. <laughs> I was just showing off what the boombox zombies could do. Sparkle hunting is going to kill three or more zombies <laughs> at the same time. Uh, uh, I was really, really sad when that stopped being a thing. Which? What the, uh, you think? Explain what sparkle hunting is. So the zombies have a helicopter, by the way. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> of course they do. Because zombies and guess what? are. You get to shoot that motherfucker down with lipstick bullets. Yes. Boom. Oh Boom. god, move! <laughs> what? Well, no one ever uh, said they were good flyers. Isn't that thing supposed to be full of water? Instead, it's full of coins. Apparently. Yep. <laughs> coins that only you can use, by the way. It's Scrooge McDuck's water tank. <laughs> <laughs> he has to keep his excess coins somewhere else. 
This is true. The pool can only be so full of coins. Octopus roll actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, actually it does. That would be pretty fresh, Octopus. But it sounds like it would be pretty good. Yeah. And you probably want it to be tenderized pretty well, because Octopus on its own is pretty chewy. Especially roll. By the way, I bought the wrong combo again, and Armadillo Spin's pretty useless because it's a X attack, and that attacks legs, and you never want to attack a zombie into the legs. Good to know. Oh, this again. Are we gonna get, like, a Tron light cycle thing before this is over? Jeez. We have to make it to the top without running into anything. I hope those dudes below aren't looking at my pink butt. If we fall, we're screwed. We're just gonna have to keep going up. So you have to go through this entire thing without being hit once. You're hit by oh. anything. You have to start over from the beginning. So Cow? I take it this is where the rest of this game video is. <laughs> no. Uh... In other news, am I the only one who remembers Intelligence Cube? Um, no. probably. It was a really, really crap-ass PlayStation 1 game released, I think, pretty early in its existence. Someone's manipulating us. And oh, oh, right, yeah. It was yeah, the one where you had the boxes and you had to roll them and solve puzzles and it was stupid. And at the end, it would it would tell you your, your IQ. Yeah, that's that's right. I and if you lost on the that. first level, your IQ would be zero, and you'd be like, well, fuck you, game. That's <laughs> not... Well, this looks really unfun. No. Ah! Yeah, it, it's, it is really unfun. <laughs> Rest in peace. There's a reason you beat them up in the Street Fighter bonus level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Winning run Natural here. Natural enemy of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Cows. Probably. Yeah. And cows. <sighs> but yeah, some things take more than one blast to kill. Remember that scene in Twister, um, where they're just like sitting on the outside of the tornado? I have to go, Helen. We have cows. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's so awful, but that line <laughs> is pretty great. <laughs> oh. Uh. I hate that movie. My dad watches it all the time. Why does me. he watch it all the time? <laughs> because he has How awful How can you possibly movies. watch that movie all the time? Like, it's a <laughs> ritual of yours. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he just really likes in the early 90s Helen Hunt. We're here, on the roof of the building. I can understand can that a little bit. They've invented screenshots if you want to <laughs> look at Helen Hunt. Uh, I was just looking around because I thought there might have been a special lollipop around here. There's not. Although I did miss one earlier. Answer your goddamn chainsaw. No! There's a video that'll come out at the end of the normal mode run where I will show off all of the messages that I missed. They're not that important. I think they are. <laughs> You're the one from the phone. Give me back my sister. What's the matter, baby? Didn't you like our phone, S E X X X? That's a pity. Um, hmm. Let me think. Dude, give us Rosalind now. And quit making fun of Stephen Hawking. He's a great man, you perv. I'm the pervert? You the one with a head hanging from your hip. Ah. Uh. I already told you, girlie. If you want to win your sister back, you have to play the game. I dig the entire thing he's got going on, except for the diaper! <laughs> okay, so Josie James... It's a disco diaper. <laughs> he, he flies around in a UFO, and he's really hard to hit with the chainsaw otherwise. Uh, you mostly want to shoot him, but you also want to conserve bullets for later, for reasons. And most of his attacks involve shooting some sort of laser at you. 
I can imagine what the disco theme is going on. Uh, it's like disco funk. Those are not lasers, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so occasionally he'll fly up really high in the air and start throwing 8-bit bombs at you. And if you want to get him down to the ground so that when he crashes, you can go and kill him with a chainsaw. However, I'm awful at this boss fight because I've only done it like three times. So, uh... I see. Maybe the diaper so he never has to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's wrong, that fucking diaper! It's a lot I'm just gonna of... struggle to come to terms with the diaper. He's like one of those, uh, Warcraft players. <laughs> they just have, like, a toilet built into their seat and a fridge with two years worth of Mountain Dew and Cheetos. Okay, so I'm just waiting around for him to do a specific attack so I can show it all. And also, again, to kill time so that way my score is tanked. Are you tanking your score? Because I'm doing a good score run later. This gets began! Is there an in-game explanation of the diaper? Nope. Just here it is. <laughs> Deal with it. Oh, here we go. I hope you like playing Simon! Uh, I don't actually. Oh no, I suck at Simon! <laughs> oh, oh yes, the guitar snack attack. I was hoping. And now... And now I'm going to show you what happens when you do it correctly. Ready? Nothing. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. You force him down on the ground, and you get a really, really nice, big opportunity to kill him. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm awful at this boss fight, so, uh... It's just really weirding me out because I love everything else going on, but then Typer. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose since I haven't seen the majority of this game, I can't be that weirded out by Typer. For all I know, all the characters are wearing Typers. No, no, he's the only we one. We know for sure Juliet. Second stage. Initiate Funky Funky. I won't let this herb get away! Okay, so now you have to kill these five power source things. Uh, occasionally, red lightning will travel down the line and electrocute them. You don't want to hit them while they're being electrocuted, or you'll get electrocuted. Because that's how video games work, I get it. Yep. And also, there is a time limit, so if you don't do it in the time limit, well then you just straight up fucking lose, doesn't matter how far into it you are. Once you kill enough of the power sources, little Josie heads come out, and they start out yellow, and then eventually they glow red, and then charge and explode at you. And I'm bad at aiming. And finally, there is an achievement for doing this boss fight with one second remaining on the clock or less. Or less. Or less. Yeah, one second or less. Okay. Because, honestly, it's kinda easy. So you kind so if you want to get the time limit thing, you're gonna have to wait around a bit, and I am an impatient bastard, so therefore I have never gotten that achievement. I think you just tried it. Fuck that. No. I thought the last boss fight was weird, but... <laughs> well, I just think you shit in your proverbial diaper. <laughs> k Zombie is wearing a diaper as he records this. Let's yep. Play. Yep. I've been wearing it the entire time. He models his life around Josie. As much as he can. <laughs> and that's that Hi. <laughs> And that's the boss battle. Why is there blood going out? You're just chopping through the... Okay. <laughs> just because it's this game. Don't ever question anything about this game. Wait, hold on! If you kill me, you never see your sister. <gasps> no! Hey! You 
promised you'd give her back if we won. <laughs> you trusted what I said? <laughs> I'm a mother freaking zombie. Drop the chainsaw now, ho. Hey, baby. Weird voice guy. May a speed to Red Game Program. And then Ooze Worm's commentary died. Oh no. He didn't say anything important anyway. <laughs> I'm loving it! <laughs>